This is day 106 of the What Sold series. The first sale of the day was this Ruka Christian Fletcher flannel, like kind of hoodie shirt in a men's large. It took 17 days to sell and it sold for full price $30 plus shipping. I think being the collaboration with Christian Fletcher, let me go and show you guys the tag, did add some value. But I think even if it didn't, it, this would still sell in the $20 to $25 range. So number two was this NFL Seattle Seahawks ugly Christmas sweater in a men's medium. This one sold in eight days for full price, $25 plus shipping. I wouldn't uh, suggest picking this up most of the time, but obviously this is the per perfect time of the year with Christmas just being in a couple days. So it was worth picking up at the time, but most of probably the other 11 months or so out of the year, I would have passed. So number three is this Travis Matthews button up shirt in a men's medium. This one took seven months to sell and it sold for a best offer of just $9 plus shipping. The Travis Matthews basic stuff just doesn't do very well. You really need to find something that's out of the ordinary with them. Their pants do decently, their shorts do okay in the spring and summer, and their polos that have really good graphics on them uh, can do well pretty much year round depending on how good the graphic is. Usually the more floral or like the ones with the palm trees, things like that. And uh, there's also really good sell through and uh, sell price for new with tags, Travis Matthews. It is one of those brands that has a pretty big discrepancy between used items and new items. So number four is this Tropical Bro shirt. It had the high noons, like the drinks on it. And it was in a men's large. This sold in seven days for full price, $30 plus shipping. I almost left this behind at the thrift store. I took two looks at it and then I didn't even look it up. I just passed through. I came back when I was done at the thrift store and decided to look it up. The only reason that I wanted to look it up is because it felt quality. And so that is something important to learn is just the feel of quality materials. You can do this by going into brand to uh, stores like REI. They sell a lot of quality items. Um, more of like a dress clothes with other like normal clothes. Uh, Nordstrom. They sell a lot of high quality clothes. Go places like that, touch the materials, get used to feeling high quality items. And that's how I found this one. Ended up looking it up and they sold pretty well and it, it was a good pickup. So number five, I think this is my third time selling this brand, Collars & Co. They make the polo shirts that look like they have a dress shirt collar. And this one sold in two days for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. These are amazing sellers. Uh, anytime you find these, pick them up. So number six was a Polo Ralph Lauren rugby shirt in a men's medium. This one also sold in two days and it sold for a best offer of $23 plus shipping. These Polo Ralph Lauren rugbies, which are like the thicker polos, and they have this little circle right here, uh, right below the buttons, and they're long sleeve. These have been selling really well for me lately, usually in the $25 range. Sale number seven was this Ralph Lauren button down shirt in a men's XL. This one sold in one month for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. I picked this up only because it was pink. I thought it stood out and it was in a good size men's XL and it was still a decent seller. I'm imagining that I picked it up for like six bucks. So I'm gonna make about seven or $8 profit on it. And a short sleeve shirt like this is very easy to list. So number eight is this Dixon flannel in a men's 2XL. This one took two months to sell and it sold for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. This did come from the Dixon flannel buyouts where I spent an average of $27 per item. So at $35, I'm not making much profit, but I'm still making a few bucks and there are some high dollar ones that have sold that have hopefully increased the average sale price of all of them to make me closer to that $10 profit per item that I'm looking for. So number nine is this Chrome Eagle button up shirt in a men's XL. This one took seven months to sell and it sold for a best offer of $16 plus shipping. I actually expected this to sell a little bit better. I thought this was uh, very similar to a Dragonfly, one of those Y2K shirts that has flames on it. And I think it is in that category. This one just ended up not selling that well. Sometimes that happens with the Dragonflies too. They aren't the most amazing sellers and they don't have you know a crazy sell through rate. So 16 bucks for this. Um, imagine I probably picked it up for around six or seven bucks. So number 10 is this Rain Spooner Melly Clicky Maka, so a Christmas Hawaiian shirt in a men's large. This one is a little different than the normal Melly Clicky Makas. This one was the uh, like classic car one, but it had Santa in a car and some reindeers in a car. So it was a little bit less valuable than the other ones, but it sold in nine days of relisting it. Someone actually bought this and returned it, I think because it didn't fit. 
But uh, like I said, it sold after relisted it with just nine days and it sold for full price, $40 plus shipping. So number 11 was this Pokemon Pikachu t-shirt in a men's medium. And this took a year and a half to sell and it sold for that full sell price of $3.97 plus shipping. And it did have a mark on the bottom of it, but this buyer did message me after buying it and ask that I could get it there by a certain date. So I hope it made it there in time. Uh, it, it was like a week away, so I'm pretty sure it did. So number 12 was this vintage Polo Ralph Lauren swim trunks in a men's 2XL tall. These sold in nine months for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. That's a very odd size for a pair of swim trunks to be in a 2XL tall. Um, this was just a weird item. If I would have looked a little closer, I honestly probably would have left this uh, pair of shorts behind because I just would have thought that it was such an odd size for a pair of swim trunks that there wasn't going to be a lot of people looking for it. But it still sold. I probably picked this up for about six or seven bucks. So I still made a few bucks, but it did sit around for a while. So number 13 was this Dixon flannel shirt in a women's medium. This one was called The Crown. I think I've actually showed you guys this one already before because I'm pretty sure that this was a return. Didn't fit the buyer. No big deal. They shipped it back and after relisting it, it took 12 days to sell and it sold for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. So number 14 in the final sale of the day was this Pendleton wool flannel shirt in a men's medium. This was a vintage one that's made in the USA. This one sold in 10 months for that full sale price of $23 plus shipping. That's it for the sales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for day 107 of the What Sold series. Peace.